welcome fam to Drift Trucks. Um, especially, uh, special thanks to the uh, subscribers. I not think this, we're still getting subscribers. It's been a while since I've done a video, slack on my part. It has been winter. Beautiful day today. Get out here and show you another wheel. You can make these wheels from anything today. So big ups to Pablo for, you know, giving me the idea first. But a friend here said he wants a bigger wheel. So what I've got here is, um, let's see, it's a 26 mountain bike wheel. It's pretty flimsy um, rim, but it's, it's a front wheel. Who really cares? <laughs> um, as you can see, our drive is still working. So it's a working back wheel. And all the parts that I need to make this pedal wheel, this uh, free wheel, 26 inch, right here. First thing I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you is um whenever you do this, it seems to be an issue with our axles. They're never long enough. So when we get our uh, our cranks and we stick that on on the it's obviously not enough room for a bearing. Not enough not enough room to weld the weld the uh, the crank on there. So what, inevitably, what we have to do is make an extension of the uh, of the uh, bolt, axle there, axle bolt. Luckily, uh, luckily, I was able to find a, a pipe, just a, just a round pipe there that fit perfect over the um, over the axle. So I'm able to extend the axle so it's longer. But then um, take that same piece and, and your intended bearing, because the bearing is supposed to go in there for your fork to sit on. And we'll notice that the, uh, the pipe is still too small for the bearing. So, in order to fix that problem, we have to make a sleeve. A little sleeve there. That'll go over the over the over the our uh, extension pipe there in turn fits inside our our bearing perfect as well now that we've made our extension got our uh, bearing case all done we have to uh, <coughs> weld this this the extension to the nut uh, to the axle sorry That'll be the first part. Um, notice this, it's hollow, you know, it's, it's still a pipe inside there, so taking a, a bolt that fits inside, that'll just fill the gap. Also, put a bit of strength in between the pipe. That'll also get welded in there as well when we get to the welding part. So now that I've got a Got my extension there. I've made my axle longer. I'm able to fit the uh, the crank on. So now I've got lots of room for the uh, for the bearing. And uh, I was going to say small piece. This is a pretty big piece of steel that I've got here. It was the only you know, available piece that I can, you know strong enough. I didn't want to go stick some flimsy piece of piece of steel on there. So. This is the only thing I could find at the time. So what happens? I'll just take that off now. That goes over the uh, over the axle. I will we'll stick that on there. It's the axle extension. It goes over the axle. It'll be welded to the axle and then to the drive teeth. Then we'll weld that onto the drive. In turn, making it a free wheel. Now we have it. Once that's all welded there, once that's done, we'll need to space the um, the axle extension using using washers. So I've, I've got a washer washer there. I'm going to use two washers further away from um, our um, piece here. The better. Take the bearing 
that goes on allows for the allows for our um, axle holders which come up your forks so I, I, someone said hey I've got some of those at home well, I'm gonna get them so um, like I said it allows for the uh, the gap in between the uh, the bearing and our axle our drive part another washer on top of that and then we put our crank on all that all that gets if I can get that on properly just like so bearing in the middle that'll be for the, uh, the axle oh, not that the fork the fork will sit on the bearing heaps of clearance between the the drive part and the bearing as well as the uh, the crank the crank and the bearing so now we'll be able to weld that all together and have a working free wheel 26 inch free wheel this is just one side for the other side a lot easier get this piece here let's get that piece in there so that'll be welded there as well the other side when I had my two bearings that I was going to use I noticed that the uh, the nut was, was just too big for the uh, the inner circumference of the uh, the bearing case here so I just filed this uh, the nut down Funnily enough, a bearing fits straight over the uh, the axle nuts and and the bearing nut. <laughs> holding the bearing case in with the bearings, so uh, so our new bearing fits straight over the top and fits in there. Perfect. So what we need is the space uh, in between here the bearing, so that our our fork holder will sit inside there. So I've got a uh, a couple washers. Washer. Two washers. Two washers. I'm gonna stick my axle extension on the sleeve this is so that um, the bearing doesn't move around on the uh, in the extension I have uh, another washer there just to space it an extra extra bit more from the uh, from the, the wheel hub one last one last bearing uh, washer I have another bolt that I'd cut up to fill the hole a little bit more extended than I thought so now we have four holders they will sit in there perfect they don't rub on any of the washers Last only our crank. So now we have a twenty six inch three wheel drip truck. <laughs> I don't know how many I've done. There's, this is the, uh, the first twenty six inch. I said you could always do it. I don't know why someone hadn't. A lot easier, other than having to extend our uh, our, our nut. It's the only jolly. So um, what I'll do, I'll disappear for a 
an hour or so. I'll weld this all together. Bring it, bring it back and show you the finished wheel. Uh, I'll then take. I haven't actually got a got a trike for that to go on. And being 26, 26 inch wheel, all the forks that I have, 20 inch, obviously they're not going to go on there. It's a lot wider, so going to need a different different fork altogether. Um, <laughs> we'll be doing a uh, what are the, what are the green machine uh, chop job, cutting the forks, welding them onto a, an existing um, mountain bike frame. Make them in longer. It's not going to reach all the way down there. 26 inches. So yeah, let me break away. We'll pause. I'll disappear. Go weld this together. Show how it turned out. Cool. Cool. No sound. Just boring out here. extension Fill that bitch up. Don't touch that, that's hot. Okay. On the pedal wheel. One side. Bearing. Pull it down to the other side. Another bearing, uh, washer, that's to space the bearing, bearing on there, another washer to space the, uh, the bearing from the crank, make sure the crank's in the right spot, straight up and down, shit that's pretty perfect. Okay, weld motherfuckers, weld.
Well, that bitch on the... Looks straight. Cool it down. See you outside. Check out the hair. Okay, so there we have it. One twenty six inch three wheel drift truck. About an hour, probably not even that, an hour's welding. Check it out. Crank, washer, spacer, bearing case, another washer, our drive piece, welded there. Same with the other side, crank, washer, uh, bearing, another washer. So that should space your... Uh, these are the uh, the ends of your uh, your forks, so they should space in there perfectly. Shouldn't touch the uh, the hub or the crank. So it's now a uh, working 26 inch front wheel drive wheel. Next video. <laughs> Still gotta do some forks. So I guess the uh, next video will be show you the finished fork, attached to the finished wheel, hopefully on a finished drift truck. <laughs> Go for another drift, hopefully. Just watching. We're drifting.